Hello and welcome back to our channel. Today, I would like to present to you the movie Emergency, 1972. I will tell you about the original names and ages of the actors and how they have changed in 2023 after 51 years. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel to support us. All right, let's get started. Number one, Robert Fuller played Kelly Brackett in the 1972 film. Fuller was born Leonard Leary Lee on July 29, 1933, in Troy, New York. Robert Fuller played Kelly Brackett when he was 39 years old, and now he's 90 years old. Go to my house for breakfast. Jan will fix it. Breakfast? Yeah. <laughs> breakfast? <laughs> We were dear friends, and the show ran for eight years. I mean, what a career there! And、uh, you were wonderful. Yeah, I enjoyed. Well, tell them the story about how you got the. Number two, Julie London played D.C. McCall in the 1972 film. London was born Julie Peck on September 26, 1926, in Santa Rosa, California. Michael Lonnet played D.C. McCall when she was 46 years old. Sadly. On October 17, 2000, London was rushed from her home to Ansico Tarzana Regional Medical Center after choking and having difficulty breathing. She was 74. Marlboro, make yourself comfortable whenever you smoke. We've been doing the show now for close to five years, and the first four years after we started. Number three. Bobby Troop played Joe Early in the 1972 film. Robert William Troop Jr. was born in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. Bobby Troop played Joe Early when he was 54 years old. Sadly, on February 7, 1999, Troop died of a heart attack in Sherman Oaks, a suburb of Los Angeles. We're doing a show. The two Bobbies are doing a show today. <laughs> He walked in.、Uh, so many people asked me. They said, "I'm glad you survived your heart attack." And、uh... number four, Ron Pinkett played Mike Morton in the 1972 film. Pinkett grew up in Denver, Colorado. He attended Whittier Elementary School, Cochino High School, and Manuel High School. Ron Pinkard played my modern when he was 31 years old, and now he is 82. Ron, do you find that people come up to you and call you Dr. Morton? They do that a lot, and I'm very flattered by it. I mean, for someone to pop up, which is justly so, if you realize the need for such an organization. Number five, Randolph Mantod played paramedic John Gage in the 1972 film Mantod. The eldest of four children was born Randy Deroy Mantod in Sacramento, California, in 1945. Randolph Mantod plays paramedic John Gate when she was 27 years old, and now he is 78 years old. Let's wait until we talk to him. Let's see how he reacts. There's no mystery. I know what his reaction is going to be. Just seven o'clock ish at night. The- Studio, everybody's getting ready to go home. Everything, and, he, and, he, and this is in jail. Number six, Kevin Ty played Ralph DeSoto in the 1972 film. Ty was born on August 13, 1944, as John Kevin Frisburn in Los Angeles, California, of Czech Bohemian and Irish descent, the son of an actor. Kevin Ty played Ralph DeSoto when he was 28 years old, and now he is 79 years old. Happens every time. If you guys miss something, you may never get again. What's the matter with him? His record today. How come this station doesn't have any rosemary? Who's rosemary? I'm worried. Number seven. Tim Donnelly played Chester B. Chet Kelly in the 1972 film. Donnelly was born in Los Angeles on September 3, 1944. Tim Donnelly played Chester B. Chet Kelly. When he was 28 years old, sadly, Donnelly died of complications from surgery at his home in Santa Fe, New Mexico, on September 17, 2021, at 
You admit it? You like it, don't you? Yeah. You start to work, come back to a safe, secure environment, get looked after, maybe have counseling. Then there's people that... Number eight. Macro Lopez played Macro Lopez in the 1972 film. Macro Antonio Lopez, born September 10, 1935, also credited as Macro Antonio in Macro Lopez, is an American actor born in Los Angeles. Macro Lopez played Macro Lopez when he was 37 years old, and now he is 78 years old. Go on, Johnny, tell him. Now, how the heck did you do that? We're looking on the ground, we'll give you a food based story. Well, many interesting people and great topics. Very Going good. Going well. <laughs> and Adir is. Number nine. Dick Hammer played Dick Hammer in the 1972 film. Hammer was a basketball player at the University of Southern California and competed in volleyball at the 1964 Summer Olympics. Dick Hammer played Dick Hammer when he was 42 years old. Sadly, he died in long bit of prostate cancer at the age of 69. Thank you for watching the whole video. If you enjoyed this, please share it. And don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel so we can produce more interesting videos in the future. Thank you and see you again.